Hi, I'm Jean Nolte, editor at Fonz and Porter. And I'm Colleen Tauke, I'm the sewing specialist for Fonz and Porter. In this Sew Easy, we're going to show you how to do row alignment. You know, row alignment is something that comes up in lots of quilts where you have sashing and sashing strips in between mm -hmm. rows of blocks. And if you want to get those blocks to really line up straight so it looks like these sashing strips are straight, you need to know this little technique. Yes. So the first thing we're going to do is cut a sashing strip the length of your row and your pattern will usually tell you what mm -hmm. that length is. And then we're going to make marks on there on both sides of the strip. First of all, a quarter inch from the end because that's your seam allowance. Oops, yes. And then the width of your block, which in this case is five inches. So we'll make those marks. Then the width of your sashing, one inch. Then five inches, one inch, five inches, one inch, five inches, and that will leave just a quarter, quarter of an inch. inch. The end. Now we've made the marks a little um, darker here so that you can see them, but you would probably want to just keep them within the seam allowance and use um, possibly a um, disappearing type marker for later. Right. So here's one where we had made the marks. We've already sewn this side on, and now we're ready to sew the next uh, row to the other side. So I'm going to put these right sides together and put them this way and you're getting ready to sew those two rows or that row onto the other two. And see here now our marks are going to match up with the sashing underneath. So I'm going to match up the, the cut edges of my strip here. So just a few pins across just since just you've some. gone to the trouble to mark it, you might as well exactly. keep it from moving. If we're going to go to this much trouble, we really want them to stay put. So we're going to maybe mark it, probably pin about every other one or so. Right. No. Now there are a lot of quilts. You've, you don't notice it until you start thinking about row alignment. And then you start looking through uh, magazines and patterns and you realize row alignment comes up a lot. It comes up quite a bit. Anytime you've got horizontal and vertical sashing, you need to know this to keep both of those lines straight. Okay. So you're going to sew with a quarter inch seam. And we're using nice bright red thread here so you can <laughs> see where we're stitching. You'd probably not want to do that on your quilt. <laughs> there are a lot of really fun um, quilts that use this kind of a raw lemon. It kind of give it a window pane kind of effect. Right. And it's amazing how distracting it can be when your quilt is not straight or the, the sashing jumps just a little bit yeah, from one section. Yeah, it's very noticeable. And it's not that hard to get them straight. No, nope. just so. those little matching like registration marks right. All help right. save us a lot so of time. So let's see how you did here. All right, we're gonna put that back out and look at, they line up just perfectly. Now you would press that seam toward the sashing strip because you've got all of those uh, seam allowances and they aren't going to want to fold back on themselves. Mm -hmm. All right, now that's one kind of row alignment, mm -hmm. but sometimes we have rows like this that are not lined up straight, they're offset. And so you'll see this sashing goes through the middle of that block. Mm -hmm. Kind of an um, almost like a laddering effect shift. Right. So here's our next row, and you can see that we've marked this one. Now on this sashing strip, the marks would be different on each side. The marks on this side would have been along here for these blocks, mm -hmm. but now the next row is shift. offset, so have we have to, to think about this. So we still want the first mark at the quarter, quarter inch where your seam allowance is, but now this is a five inch block, this is going to be a one inch sashing that goes in the middle of it, so that leaves four inches, so two inches on this side of the sashing and two inches on that side of the sashing. So this next line is two, two inches, inches away, then one inch for the sashing, then five inches for the block, one inch for the sashing, five inches for the block, one inch for the sashing. I think you get the idea. Until you get down to the end. So now we're going to Flip that over onto there, and we're going to put the, put the marks on the top so you can see where they are. Okay, slide them up just a little bit here. So we can and again, see you're going to pin that just like you did before, 
And so your quarter inch seam right along there. And then you might find this more on some of the more contemporary or modern quilts. We do a lot of um, row alignment and kind of a window painting type um, style when we're working on more traditional quilts. But so we're sometimes do it's fun so, to do something different. Right. So you'd sew that seam and then you're going to see, I can't get it all the way because of the pins, but you're going to see how then that Offset. these line up with those up there. Thanks for joining us today. For more So Easy videos, go to FonzandPorter.com.